Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. He trains with the chosen few. Joining us from Madison, Wisconsin, Salvatore, the Sicilian zombie ski and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He stands at even six feet tall and weighed in at 168 pounds. He trains at Iowa top team. Joining us from Clinton, Iowa, Josiah Molina. Go, referee's about ready to call to get into action. Fight number two, Josiah Molina and Salvatore Schiro. Here we go, touch of gloves in the middle of the cage. We're off. Starting out with a low leg kick, does Josiah. Nice front T kick to the body. Nice one two. He's setting him up nice, champ. Yeah, I like that one two. I like his movements. He's definitely firing that straight left like he should. Nice mean hook. Great hands. This is where Shiro needs to get a hold of and do it. They're pushed up against the fence right here in front of us. Shiro's got to start wrestling, get those underhooks to what he can, but it looks like right now Molina's definitely the stronger guy. Yes. Strong fighter imposing his will and that left hand. Yeah, Josiah definitely firing away here in the opening moments of round number one. Utilize that wrestling. Now let's see what he can do once he gets it down. Shiro gets the takedown. See what Molina can do off his back. Probably the best way because it does seem like Josiah is the stronger fighter. Best way to neutralize that, kind of get him down, start working his ground game. Ooh, he's got, I can't see exactly. It's like he said, he has the anaconda, he's squeezing, he's got a front headlock. It's he's working it. He has it the way he has it just locked up on the head was pretty impressive. How he had, I don't even know what kind of front headlock he had just the head but the way he was holding on to it is a la kind of yeah I don't even know what he had going on <laughs> he's making up new moves I would too if I was wrestling just get out there in front of the head and just start squeezing Leah what do our poll numbers look like for this fight uh, let me go to the polls real quick here the viewers seem to say that Salvatore is going to take this one by 55% ah. so it's, it's pretty close still there, that one-two no, by Molina. That left is finding the home. He's just got to make sure he doesn't close the distance too much and make Shiro close that distance being the wrestler. You want to get into a right, uh, just that perfect distance where he's at the end of your bat, but you don't want to get too close because it allows Shiro, who's trying to close that distance. Makes him easier to counter, I would imagine. 100%. Now he's got it pushed up against the cage, so Molina's doing a good job there. But I would like your left hand is landed. Step back and rock that thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Obviously, Salvatore's got him tied up here to keep that from happening, it looks like. Then that's the problem. That should happen all day is the way that, the way that Salvatore has him, and then he circles him off the cage and starts snapping down, controlling that front headlock. See, now he's just going to weigh on him, weigh on him, get him down, come around and just textbook wrestling, snap the head down, control it, come out to the side, referee's position, and just start making Molina work from right here. Empty, Nowhere to go. Empty that gas tank out a little bit. Yep, now he throws a leg in, now we got him leg right, he's going to try to go double, maybe got him too high. He definitely got him, I think he's up way too high right now, Molina can pay attention where he's at, he's going for the arm bar. He's got the arm bar. Oh, oh and he's spinning snap. around. Got him set up perfectly for oh, an armbar. Salvatore, see he's peeling, peeling. Yeah, and what is that called, peeling? He just oh. peeling that hand back. Oh. And the time ended. Close. Where is Screech and Mr. Balding? Because he was saved by the bell right there. Yeah. Mr. Balding, I'm sorry, not Balding. That's me. Balding. Oh my, he said Balding, Mr. Balding. <laughs> Yo. So now, but you can see in between the round here, that's the one thing that Molina, he needs to stand back, fire that left hand, and make Salvatore close that distance. Don't just, he's the one closing and closing it, pushing him up against the fence. And then from there, Salvatore's pummeling in, coming around, grabbing that front headlock, snapping him down like a wrestler would, staying out there, referee's position, and then through the legs. In. We'll see if Josiah has some, has, still has some stank on those strikes, like he did in the beginning of most of that first round. Salvatore needs to uh, go for what's working for him, get him on the ground. Impressive first round from both fighters. They said they both got heart, and we're seeing it here in that first round. 
Round two coming up. I'm anxious to see how the second round plays out here. See if Josiah tries to keep up that same tempo. Yeah, I see Moline all day that left. Now, now you see that Salvatore did a good job. Whoa. Good single leg kicked him up. Nice high arm. Monster. Ish type of bomb. <laughs> a lot Matt I'm Hughes, yeah, Frank Trigg, baby. I think this is obviously where uh, Salvatore is going to find his success here is on the ground. Slow him down a little bit and do that tank out. Well, he's doing a good job. He's in there in half now, going cross body. Now he just needs to circle out toward the head. See, Molina's doing a good job circling in, and Salvatore does the right deal, coming back, being the wrestler, referee's position, controlling, going across wrist ride. And now the one thing that he can do from right here, see, he's grabbed the wrist with the right hand, start punching with the left hand. Both fighters back to their feet. Second slam. It's turning into a wrestling match. Imagine that. Now again, he's doing a good job sitting in half now. He's relaxing cross body, knowing that the only for Molina being pushed up against the fence, he can only circle into him. Josiah about ready to get his wall walk on, I believe. Let's we'll see. I think the wrestler is probably going to be pretty effective at keeping him from doing that, I would imagine. Yeah, and it's just the way that he's pressing, just pressure and pressure and smashing his head up against the fence and just throwing punch after punch after punch, pinning that head against the cage and just start swinging. Right side, right side, right side. Are they allowed elbows and amateur? No, elbows and amateur. I'm not sure. I thought I saw close to I thought fight. so, too, but standing, I think they can do it right on the ground. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not 100% sure. Because I don't even know if this is actually, well, I'm not even saying, well, they're all pro. I don't even know why I'm calling it amateur. It's definitely giving a professional so these performance. Are, yeah, these are all pro fights, so I'm just saying, I, I would assume the elbow should be allowed. My it's like there's a trying, is that an R? Oh, no. He could get that arm triangle, could he not, champ, if he got out and then jumped to the other side? It's there, but that's one thing, yes. If he goes over to that side, see, Molina knows it, trying to lock that guard up, not letting him cross over. That's the one thing about having to push up against the fence, but the arm triangle was there. See, now Molina's doing a good job of kicking away, but now he's got to snap up and get to his feet real quick. Good job of passing the goal on the way down, Salvatore. Now he hits the mounts. Well, and like any fight, that anaerobic business comes into play because he's carrying his weight the whole time. Oh, Kimura, possible Kimura. You got Kimura? Oh, he's holding on to the cage. Oh, he let go. I think he's not going to have enough time. Whoa, Oy. second time. Mr. Belding in the building, saved by the bell. Round two. <laughs> the wrestling is taking over right now. Salvatore is starting to run away with him a little bit. If you're Molina, what are you going to do? You've got to make sure that left hand is landing. Doesn't seem to be breathing too incredibly heavy, Molina. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I know. He looks in great shape. It's just, again, you know, I mean, the rest, one's got the wrestling and one's trying to do the striking. If you want to be the striker, right? The side of Molina wants to be the striker. He's got to create that, again, you got to make sure you keep that distance. Keep him at the end of your back. Well, because as we've seen in round two, he tried to open up with that one-two, and Salvatore was totally hip to it, got under this it, and time, took him yeah, down. Yeah, he shot in with the single, was able to time it. That might make him slow his punches down a little bit. Right. Or else keep that distance, like you said, so he stays at the end of him, as opposed to staying, getting too close. Because Salvatore has obviously been very effective with his wrestling. Getting a little low from the crowd. Salvatore playing it up a little bit. We got round three coming up. Here we go. Hopefully, open up a little bit of a slower pace. Zayas trying to come in with that one, two, looks like. Yeah, now he's got to make sure when he throws that left hand, make sure you get those punches back. As you start to fatigue, the hand kind of drops down and yes. takes on and gets straight up. See, he drops his head, and he's the one holds him the distance. He needs to keep that distance, throw the hook, and throw that left. Circle, 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 fire off. He's doing a good job pushing him off, keeping Salvatore from holding the clinch. Good knee, plumb, and Salvatore goes down on a single, picks it up. There you go. 
He found that formula to negate those strikes. Yep, but the good broke. thing is he's passing on the way down. Passing the ball on the way down himself to it. Yeah, that's got to be, you know, pretty tiring to just carry his weight for three. I mean, that's pretty much what's been happening since round two. He's just been on top of him carrying his weight. That looks like trying to drop some bombs here. Yeah, he's in full mount, making it rain down. Just got to make sure the punches are straight. The flurries don't do anything if they're not landing. Right. Molina fighting the hand, circling out, giving up his back. But, I mean, again, it's one of those risk and rewards. You got to do something. Yeah, he was getting hit. Drive that wrist forward, good. Power that other hand. See, definitely, uh, definitely slowed down See, here. Now he's doing it. So here's what I like that he's doing right here. Kind of a a la Chimmy a little bit with that cross body wrist control, putting your left against against Molina's left. He can block and not move, or he's got to post and start moving. Because either way, the fight's going to get stopped. So it's a great job of trying to push him down and controlling that. Go back in the mountain. Got to start over. Yeah. He didn't really have any uh, any plan B. Salvatore raining down some blows on him. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of just controlling. Up top, ground and pound. There you go, Molina's stuck. Molina's trying. He's trying to figure out how he's going to sit up. He's got to fight the hands, but he's also got to fight the position. He's got to get up. You want to block every punch, but you got to at some point you got to take a few punches and keep moving because you're stuck in a bad situation and they're going to stop it regardless. Salvatore going off. Side the best he can to evade the punches that were coming hard and heavy. He's got to push on the guy, get one guard, get a half guard back, push, push, push. Now Salvatore comes all the way up, sitting underneath the elk, just walks up, just up on his head, raining shots down. And again, Molina's just in a bad spot. Intelligent defense comes with a short time left, though. Josiah doing a good job of evading and defending a lot of those punches that are coming down. Wow. Well fought, Mike. What a... Good Leah, we got any man. questions, comments from our chat line? We do, we do. We have uh, we have one question. Uh, it, this is to Jens. Can you give a brief explanation on how points are scored? Well, there's always, if, obviously, positions. I would say someone, it's, the way I always look at judging is when you look at every round, who would you rather be? That's the first and foremost. I think the hardest part is remembering what happened in the first 30 seconds as opposed to at the end when someone steals the last 30 seconds. So I just go by ring control. Who is controlling the fight? Who's controlling the pace? And really, if you just keep that logic in your head throughout the five minutes, is who would you rather be in each situation? And that should help you form your own opinion because really that's all it is, is three opinions. When they like to do the whole, like, cage generalship, you know, strikes, significant if they strikes. Have, again, you go by takedowns, control. Now, sitting in someone's guard, all that did was just change the level of the game. We got three levels. We got space, we got clothes, and we've got ground. So being able to sit there and dictate that, that's the first and foremost. So when nobody's really scoring anything too crazy, you go by ring generalship, right? Yeah. Now, it seems like Salvatore commanded the ring. Well, Dom he was in the dominant. mount, and that's a game yeah. he had. And there, that was a 10-8 at the end. I'm sure the last round was easily a 10-8. When you have to give up all offense and go on strictly defense, you're starting to look at a 10-8 in a round. There you go, survival mode. Well, it was awesome to see Salvatore adjust his game. Stand-up wasn't necessarily working for him. Took it to the ground. We'll see how it worked for him. Good sportsman shit in the middle of the, middle of the cage there. No, oh, really good. That's the one thing with Molina. I love his left hand. I love his striking off the bat. Again, one of those things with the wrestler, Salvatore being that wrestler, that's that anaerobic side, man. It wears out the striker when the striker's done a lot of running, done a lot of, you know, doing their sprints, doing their bag work. That's got nothing to do with that pushing and pulling, anaerobic swimming, wrestling. It's a whole different world of conditioning. And we'll find out all the time. Well, we got a Khabibi and a Gachi coming up there. I always call him Gachi. You know what I mean? Gachi. Yeah. But that, you're going to see a lot of that anaerobic side of fighting. Khabib wrestling bears and whatnot. <laughs> Awaiting the word. Jason Vargas, our ring announcer. 
Both big hearts. They weren't lying. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to our judges' scorecard for our decision. Our judges scored this contest 30, 26, 30, 26, and 30, 27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Salvatore, the Sicilian zombie, Skiro. Salvatore picking up the W there. 30, 26, that, that 10, 8, at the yeah. two judges had a 10, 8 on that last round. Or at one of the rounds, I would assume the last one. All right, come on over here, Salvatore. We're here with your winner tonight, Salvatore Skiro. Salvatore, first of all, congratulations on a victorious Cage Aggression debut. Talk to us, man. How does it feel coming out under the lights and walking away with such a dominant victory after your Cage Aggression debut? Oh, man. I haven't fought in a year. I put in so much work for this, and I thought I probably wouldn't be fighting for a long time, but then you guys gave me the opportunity. I want to thank Dante Skiro, my brother. I love him with all my heart. He gives me the motivation to drive and keep going every day, even when times get tough. Tough get going. Thank you for the opportunity, Cage Aggression. Now, there were a couple times there uh, during the action. It looked like you were really close to a finish. End of the round kind of came in and got you. How close did you feel like you were on either of those attempts? Uh, well, let me start off with the first round. He's a southpaw that kind of effed me up a little bit. He hit me so hard. And uh, I got that dog in me from the wrestling days, never give up. Second and third round, I tried to go for the finish. I told some guys in the back, I wouldn't mind if it went three rounds a day to test my limb, test my cardio, test my heart. I know I have the most heart in here. I appreciate everybody again for the support, but that second and third round, there's no way he's taking that away from me. That was my win to go. That was my win. Sorry. You're all right. Well, look, I know you got a lot of celebrating to do after such a dominant win. Tell us real quick, anyone who's interested, where can they go learn more about Salvatore Skiro? Well, I'm a head coach for Madison Fall Wrestling, Wisconsin. I'm doing a good job there. I fight for a talented few. I practice with the best guys in the gym, some right there. My brother in the back, he's gonna win his belt. He deserves this two fight skin. He's about to get that win back today. But I wanna take the show with a few brethren. I wanna thank my wrestling team, my friends, my family for the support. Without you guys, I don't know how I'd do this. I love you guys. Congratulations one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Salvatore Skiro.